Hi everyone, this is Pete from Ashton's Cars and today we're looking around a 2011 Vauxhall Zafira design model. The Zafira is a very popular MPV. It's one of the lower priced seven seaters that you can buy and it's fairly economical to run as well. Design specs are the mid-range model of these cars and you get a half, well, I'm going to say leather, but I think it's half leatherette, shall we say, interior. It's nice looking alloy wheels, air conditioning and just a general nicer specification with the trip computer than the standard Zafira. So uh, it's worth having a design or above model in the Zafira range, in my opinion. The life models, which were the base models, are quite basic indeed. So let's have a little look around this car. It is a seven seater. It's only done 76,000 miles from new, which is uh, not a lot considering this car is now 12 years old. It's in excellent condition. I don't think I've seen a Zafira in better condition than this for many, many years. Um, it's coming from a contact that we have in a sort of Ross Hereford area. The cars that they always have in a very, very good quality in this particular car. Uh, looks like it's had a very easy life. It's even got a boot floor protector, uh, which also cover those rear seats. So I don't think the actual rear seats have ever been used. Power comes from the 1.8 litre uh, 16 valve engine. So it's one of the more powerful models in the range. I do prefer this 1.8 to the lower powered 1.6s, which are quite common. So there is a general sort of nice look about this car because first of all, it's been looked after very well, but as you can see, it's got the original alloy wheels and they are, like the rest of this car, in immaculate condition. Considering this is a 12 year old vehicle primarily designed to take young families around I don't think you will find a cleaner looking Zafira than this. It's clearly been very, very well looked after indeed. I'll quickly show you the interior of it and then we'll jump in behind the wheel. It's just starting to rain here. But um, here's the interior. As I say, I was tempted to say leather. I don't think it's real leather, but it does look very good. It's, and it's quite hard wearing as well with the cloth inserts on the seats. You have got the uh, trip computer as well as a fairly decent CD stereo system and you've got air conditioning in this model. As you can see, the interior is very good condition. There's no rips and tears on any of the seats. Something that you do need to be aware of on Zafiras is that they do sometimes have a harder life than average cars. So you will find a lot of them look quite shabby inside. This is the exception to that rule. It's, it's immaculate in here. So seek out one that looks like this. Even got, as I say, a design spec, you've got the little stitching in the in the lever on the sides there it does look really nice in the back plenty of room this seat is uh, able to slide around so we can slide it forward create a bit more back boot space or a bit more room in the back but uh, for most of the time we'll keep it on that rear position there that gives you masses amount of leg room in this seat and it also because it's quite elevated compared to the front seats has great visibility for kids so that does make a big difference to families even in the back you've got very deep door pockets with cup holders built into them so it's again very family friendly this car to the rear i'm not going to faff about putting those rear seats up for a minute because uh, i'm trying to hold a phone while i'm doing this but things to look for well <laughs> you know it's been well looked after if it's still got this um this parcel shelf in place usually that goes missing the boot protector might look a little bit shabby because it's obviously had 12 years of life, but it means that the original carpet's underneath are in good nick. Hasn't been valeted even this car, but look, you can see straight away, the seats in the back are gonna be just as good a condition as those other seats in the car. All the handles are intact on them, which usually come snapped off. Um, they don't come much better than this in all honesty. It has, if you notice there, it's got a spare plate in the back because it has got a tow bar. So if you have got a little trailer or something that you that you tow or even a very lightweight caravan, the Zafira is more than capable of doing that. I know the previous owner uh, used the car though for a trailer. Now let's have a quick sit in behind the wheel. As you may be able to hear, I have got the car running. It is very quiet. Only 76,000 miles on the clock. Very, very low mileage for a car of this, uh, of this age. Here in the centre, we've got, in, in the design trim, you get this high gloss black finish, which does look a lot classier 
than the standard Zafira. And you've got a slightly bigger screen there, which uh, displays your miles per gallon and how many miles you've got left on a tank, etc. We've got air conditioning and it blows ice cold on this car. Absolute joy. Oh, that's very nice because it is quite humid today, despite the fact that it's tipping down. We've, well, it's starting to pick up rain now, but it has been tipping down. So we've got um, a multifunction steering wheel, but most of these controls really are just for the stereo. Um, it hasn't um, sort of got any satellite navigation or anything like that, this particular car. But I do like a design spec because you get that stitching on the seats and the door panels. You get these nicer um, quality trim on the dashboard with the, with the high gloss effect there. And it sort of elevates the whole interior of this car. Because while it is a family vehicle designed to transport um, your kids and, uh, and relatives around the country in safety, it's also nice to have something that does feel pleasant to drive as, as the driver of it. Uh, and it certainly does that. You've also got um, front and rear electric windows as well as electric mirrors. And as you can hopefully see there, it's got automatic headlights uh, and also rain sensitive wipers. So that does make life behind the wheel that little bit more easy on you. Main reasons for buying this car though, 76,000 miles. It's got full service history and the condition of it is absolutely impeccable. I've not seen another one. Um, I can't emphasize that as much as I am. This model of Zafira, I don't think I've seen another one in this condition for a long, long time. So um, if you're looking for one, it's probably one of the best ones you'll ever find. Um, I'll just quickly come back outside the car. Oh, you have of course got cup holders as well. There's some down there, look, and you have got huge door bins in the front as well as the rear. So on a practical note, well, you're not gonna go wrong with this car. And of course, the Zafira is based on the Vauxhall Astra platform. So parts are cheap and they are plentiful. It's not a car that's gonna be expensive to run. Um, insurance is pretty good as well. You need to get a quote obviously yourselves on that. Um, if you're looking for something that's low cost, seven seats, this is probably the car to buy. Uh, but do pay a little bit extra for one that's got full service history and that has been looked after by that like this. It's very easy to tell one that's had a hard life you will find rips and tears in the seats and they'll look dirty and horrible. Buy one that's been looked after, hasn't got the curved alloys. It's, you know, the alloys on this car look like new still. And that to me in itself just shows how the owner must have looked after and taken care of this car. All the tires are good. Um, it's just everything I would be looking for in a family vehicle. So there you have it guys. Low cost seven seater, which should hopefully uh, do someone proud for many years to come. Um, if you're interested in this particular one, my number is 07932 873 646. Um, of course, please subscribe to our channel, comment below, let us know your own thoughts on the Zafira if you've had one, I'm sure plenty of people have. And of course, give us a like and share us with your friends and family. Most of all, please just subscribe and hit that notifications button because then you will see our upcoming stock and have loads of car buying advice of us and it helps us keep this channel running. Um, that's it from me guys. My number one more time though is 07932 873 646. Happy to take part exchange. Happy to deliver the car anywhere in the UK. Just give us a ring and we'll sort out a deal to suit you. Thanks ever so much for watching. Goodbye for now.